Here's how to get Optifabric for Minecraft 1.21.6. This is probably the best Optifine alternative and it's already available for the latest update of Minecraft. Let's go. Now, first we need to download Optifabric. Optifabric is available on ModRinth. The thing is that if we download Optifabric for ModRinth right away, it's going to download as a ModRinth file and that's not good for us. We actually need all the mods from Optifabric, not the ModRinth mod pack file. Now, for that, we have created a tool which you'll find in the description of this video, second link probably. Now, this is the ModRinth pack to zip converter tool and all you have to do in here is search for the mod pack that you want. Let's say you want Optifabric, search for it, select it in here, select the Minecraft version that you want, in this case 1.21.6, and then when you hit convert, it's going to download the mod pack with all the individual mods separated. As you can see, a zip file will be downloaded, and that'll be the Optifabric mod pack with all the mods that we need. The thing is that if we download it from here, again, it's not going to be good for us to install it. Now, once you download that file, once you hit convert and you download it, you want to go ahead and place that Optifabric zip file in your desktop. You can find that zip file here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Now, once you have this file in your desktop, go ahead and extract it. For that, right click on it and hit extract all. If you're on Windows 11, this should be an issue. If you don't have the extract all option, then I'll leave you guys down below in the description a link to a video on how to install 7-zip so you're able to extract all of this, right? Now, once you extract that, you can delete the zip file because we now have the Optifabric folder. And like I was telling you earlier, we have the mods folder in here, which is what we're going to be using for this video. Again, that is why we use that tool to download the Optifabric mod and not the mod print site because if we download it from here, it's going to be a file that we can't open because it's a mod print file, okay? Now, once you have this in your computer, if you already have Fabric installed, then just go ahead and add this tool folder into your game installation and you could play Optifabric within Fabric 1.21.6. But if you don't have Fabric installed yet for Minecraft 1.21.6, here's how to get it. Click on the third link in the description, which is this article in here. It's a quick guide on how to install Fabric in case this video is too fast for you. But if you want to go straight to the point, just come down to step one, click on Fabric. that will redirect you over here where you're going to press Download Universal Jar and the download for the Fabric installer will begin right away. I want you to place this file in your desktop just like we did earlier with the Optifabric file. And with this file in your desktop, double click on it. Just make sure you have closed your Minecraft game and your Minecraft launcher, of course. Then you should have Minecraft 1.21.6 right here. If not, look for it and then press install and Fabric will install super, super quick. Now just go ahead and press OK, close the installer and you could delete the Fabric installer. Now we are ready to add Optifabric to the game. And by the way, if you weren't able to open the Fabric installer, that's because you need Java 21. This is a requirement for installing mods for any Minecraft above Minecraft 1.20.5. So I'll leave you guys this article in the description as well. So you can install Java 21 and install Fabric. Now it's time to add Optifabric to the game. For that, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And when the Minecraft launcher opens, if you install Fabric properly, you should see it here, but we're not gonna click play just yet. We're gonna head over to installations and then on installations, make sure you select modded to see all your modded instances, then find Fabric in here, hover over it and press where it says open installations folder. That is going to open a folder containing all the files for Minecraft. Now in here, if you have any mods folder, you wanna go ahead and delete that. If you wanna make a backup of it, if you wanna change the name so you don't have to delete it, that's also fine. In this video, I'm gonna delete it, but you don't wanna have a mods folder in here because it could cause issues with your Optifabric. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and drag and drop these two folders from within the Optifabric folder in your desktop into the Minecraft installations folder. So it will be the mods folder and the config file. Now the config file is optional, but if you want to have the better settings for Optifabric so it could run very smooth on your computer, I recommend adding them. So all you have to do is select these two files and go ahead and drag and drop them into an empty space. If you get this prompt in here, go ahead and hit replace file in the destination and now just wait for everything to be transferred. As you can see, we left this folder empty, meaning that we could delete it now. We don't need that anymore. Now we could close the installations folder of Minecraft, head back to the Minecraft launcher and click play right next to your fabric loader. If you get a prompt in here, read through it and if you agree, hit play one more time. Now once you game loads, you'll see that you have a new button right here, which is all the mods that you're running in your game. And you can simply launch a single player world and start enjoying your Optifabric with Minecraft 1.21.6. You should now have improved FPS. You can now add shaders to the game. And that is it, guys. How to get Optifabric for Minecraft 1.21.6. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.